Hello everyone, today we'll learn how to display the middle element of a linked list. The basic way we can do this is by counting the number of elements in the linked list in one pass. Say it comes out to be n. Thus n by 2 will be the middle element. And again we need to traverse till n by 2 to get to the middle element and then display it. But this will take two passes, one to count the number of elements and the second pass to get to the middle element. Now how can we do it in a single pass? We can do it easily by using two pointers. Now let's understand it using an example. Suppose this is the linked list given to us and we need to find the middle element. As we can see, the middle element of this linked list is 6. But how can we get to this element using only single pass and using two pointers? Let's say we take two pointers and we name one pointer as slow and the other one as fast. We have named the pointer slow and fast on purpose because the slow pointer will be moving one node at a time and the fast pointer will be moving at a pace of two node at a time. That means for the slow pointer we'll make it the link of the current node and for the fast pointer we'll make it the link of the link of the current node. Or we can instead of writing the statement twice we can compact it and write fast is equal to the link of the link of fast which will increment our fast pointer by two nodes. By increment, I mean that fast pointer will move at a pace of two nodes. Now the last thing that we need to do is check the statement with which our loop will stop. We need to stop when either the fast pointer is equal to null or the link part of the fast pointer is equal to null. Now why we have taken these two condition is because if we have odd number of elements in our list, then the fast pointer will reach the last element of which the link part will be null. But if we have even number of elements, by incrementing the fast pointer at a pace of 2, it will reach the null pointer at the end. Now to understand it better, let's actually do this. First of all, we increment the slow pointer by 1. Then we increment the fast pointer by 2. Then we again increment the slow pointer at a pace of 1. Then we increment the fast pointer at the pace of 2. Again, we increment the slow pointer at the pace of 1 and finally we increment the fast pointer at the pace of 2. Note that now the link part of the fast pointer has become null and this was our exit condition. Because the number of elements in our example is odd, thus when the link part of our fast pointer becomes null, we need to stop the loop. And now as we can see, our slow pointer is pointing to the middle element. Thus now we have access to the data part of the middle element and we can display it easily. Now let's implement this using C++. This is the basic structure of our node and initially our head pointer would be pointing to null when there would be no node in our linked list. But in our example, there were a few node in our linked list. Thus we'll start our mid function. We'll declare our two pointers slow and fast and we'll equate it to head to point it to the first element of the linked list. Next, we need to check that if the list is empty, that is head equal to null. And if the list is empty, we'll print the list is empty and we cannot find its middle element. But if our list is not empty, that is in the case of the example we took, we will start our while loop with the condition that until fast is not equal to null or the link part of the fast is not equal to null, we will increment the slow pointer by one and increment the fast pointer at a pace of two nodes. After the loop ends, our slow pointer will be at the middle element. Thus, we display the data part of our node to which our slow pointer is pointing and that would be the middle element. I've linked the code for this program in the description. Thank you for watching.